Hey guys, so what's the number one biggest problem I see with people who are trying to switch from more of a traditional continental or, or eastern grip into the western or semi-western grip? We'll be right back to show you the answer. Alright guys, Pete from Crunch Time Coaching here. I got an email the other day from a guy and he we're getting ready to do the forehand master machine. This video will probably be inside the forehand master machine course, but I also wanted to put it on YouTube because I think it's an important video. Uh, because when I see a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, you know, how hard would it be for me to switch my grip and, and change my forehand so I get more spin and just feel like I'm hitting a bigger ball. And one of the things that stops people right away is they start missing really bad in the net because they're used to hitting with an open frame if you can see that and they've been able to make adjustments and figure out a way to put the ball in when they close that frame up they tend to hit a ton of balls in the net or just a lot of balls where they, they feel like they're not really getting good connection and they're like what, what's wrong with my forehand so I'm gonna show you kind of what happens and then what you need to do when a lot of people start they get ready here, they either do two moves, and I'll show you the first one right now. They get here, and they don't drop that racket head far enough under the ball. So they get ready, they hit, and they go to hit a big forehand, and actually oh. a lot of times will hit the net before it even goes, before it even, you know, it will hit the ground before it even uh, hits the net. And they're thinking it's really bad, and as a coach, and they don't believe me, I get all excited because I see all the rotation on the ball. And I know that it's only little adjustments that's going to help them develop a really awesome forehand okay when you hit that ball in the net don't get frustrated people just get too upset with the result like oh that was in the net or oh that was out when lots of coaches see oh my gosh did you see what you just did there you hit in the net but it was like tons of spin on that ball so one of the things since people are used to hitting flat is, is they're used to getting right here and kind of coming right through and the ball will still go over the net where when you hit the top spin in general you want to get those legs lower that's number one get lower and then you've got to relax under the ball you want to get the ball like a good foot above your racket head and and what i do here is i go into relaxed i relax that wrist back it's also laid back this way so i'm in this position especially when i'm further back in the court because i want a nice height over the net i want a nice height over the net that height over the net is actually going to give me a big ball. It's going to, it's going to go over that net, it's going to hit the ground, and because of all that height and spin, it's going to hit and kick up at the opponent. So that's a good thing. The height is a good thing. It's actually an offensive thing. The Dow does that so well. So you want to relax, make sure you're low here, and then come up to the ball. You're aiming. I like to aim at the bottom of the ball. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm looking at the bottom of the ball. So I have a tennis ball right here. Instead of aiming for the top, or the middle, I aim for the bottom. Now as I get closer to the net, I may start aiming towards the middle or the top of the ball depending on how high the ball is. But when I'm down he back here, and especially if the ball is at my waist or lower, I'm really thinking about lifting getting on the bottom of that ball, okay? So that's super important. We're here, we get low, we lift, and then you'll see that ball go up and down in the court. And it's really, really good. Another thing too, is since we are getting lower, and the natural thing I do want you to do is learn how to get down. You notice don't stay down and hit. This looks awkward, okay? Lots of times you're gonna hear in tennis, stay down on the shot, but you don't, you wanna get down, but you don't wanna stay down, okay? The danger though is coming up too early, okay? That's, that's the danger. That's why a lot of coaches say stay down, because if you get down and then you just hit like this, look, that doesn't look like, sometimes in a shot you actually wanna do that, so that happens sometimes. But most of the time, you want to get down and kind of come up through it. But if you pop up too early, that's when you're going to hit a lot of framers. That's when you're going to hit a lot of balls in the net because you've come up before you've hit. You want to come up with the hit. See, I get here and I'm coming up with the hit. That's the way you want to do it. It's in a nice rhythmic motion and, and you, you'll get the feel of what that is. When the right time to come up, the more times you do it. So those, that's really your, your biggest obstacle when changing to you know, more of an aggressive grip, a, a, a semi-western or western. You may start in the beginning to have a ton of spin, 
without much power, even though eventually you're going to get that power the more you hit it, kind of like learning how to do a spin serve. And a lot of those mistakes are going to go into the net. Don't freak out about that. Just like when people start serving, especially a slice serve, I started learning how to slice, my balls all went into the other court. It kind of freaked me out. Now I kind of know through coaching, it's kind of part of the process. You can cut down the learning curve on that. Just like you can learn, cut down the learning curve on this. But long story short, don't freak out if you start hitting the net. If you're seeing lots of rotation on the ball, you're onto something good and focus on the tips I gave you today and you're gonna get there, okay? Also be looking out for the forehand master machine. Uh, depending on when you're getting this YouTube video, I may have a link here that you can check it out. I might be able to have you check out a couple free videos before you go over the whole thing. But it's a great course that's going to transform your forehand to hit like the pros. Isn't that fun? All right, guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off.